We reported to you last week about a big effort to help the homeless in Harrisburg, and tonight we're following up. We spoke with one of the organizations getting $500,000 in federal funding. Ireland Viscount Joyce is now live with more from the newsroom, Ireland. Valerie, Alicia, these funds are going to immediately help Harrisburg's unhoused community members. We know that this $1 million is only half the job for the unhoused community. Downtown Daily Bread and Christian Churches United in Harrisburg will each receive $500,000. It's the operations, it's the expense for this facility. The biggest expense by far is the staff. And, you know, again, we have the staff there not just to welcome people to keep them safe, but also hopefully to help work with them and, you know, help them on their journey. This money will also help the shelters operate year round instead of just the winter. We're just really happy that we can expand that for the women that we serve. It's always just hard when it's temporary and at the end of March we've had to say sorry, you know, we, we can't have you come back the next night. Reinford says when open, they serve about 25 women a night, helping around 100 120 people during the winter. I'm sure being open year round, we'll see an additional, you know, easily double that amount probably that we're helping. Reinford says the money will keep the shelter running year round. For the next, hopefully about a year and a half, two years, this is, you know, a long term need and we're going to be working with the community to see how we can keep this open longer term. With the funding, both shelters hope to open on November 1st, a whole month earlier than normal. The city says the decision to fund these two shelters was made with the I-83 South Bridge project in mind. PennDOT expects to start working on the project starting mid-2025 and say they need the space where some unhoused currently live. Definitely alleviates some of it because when you consider there's 80 to 100 people over in the PennDOT encampment, you're talking about an additional 30 beds being created between two spaces. Maisel says they know some people prefer to live outside, so they're working on creating extra spaces for those people. Live in the newsroom, Ireland Viscount, ABC 27 News.